So I wanted to do a response video to an article um, by The Telegraph. It's called French Vegan Fest um, off the menu amid fears of butcher's revenge. So the French town of Carlas has been no stranger to public disorder in recent years. With recent battles between police and migrant workers or striking ferry workers making headlines across the world. But now the port is facing a bizarre new threat. According to its council, an alliance of hunters and farmers are seeking to take revenge on vegans bent on turning the largely carnivorous French off meat. So I think that they have a right to, vegans have a right to protest or um, a right to express their opinions as long as um, they're not being violent in any way. Now I think the peaceful protesting outside a butcher shop, although we can kind of talk about how effective that activism is, um, it isn't in any way harming anyone or it's in no way violent. Um, the same in terms of protesting outside a slaughterhouse, um, the same with, you know, um, doing things like outreach. We can talk about how effective these methods of activism are, but in no way are they, you know, violent or anything like that. And I think that vegans have the right to do those kinds of protests as long as they're not violent towards farmers or hunters. So the risk of travel was so great that the council decided to cancel a vegan festival due to it being held in the town centre on September the 8th. So I really think that this is a bit silly. I think that the farmers seem to just be scared of the competition and <laughs> it's a bit sad. I mean, um, mostly vegan fests are done and they focus around food um, and, you know, getting people involved in animal rights and eating a more plant-based diet. Um, okay, you might be scared by that, but, um, you know, they have every right to have their own nice festival if they want one. And you shouldn't, you know, make threats and, you know, make the council council it. It's just not very nice. I mean, um, I think the same could be said if vegans were doing that to your festival, if you had a meat festival and, you know, they, they pressured the council so much that the council kind of, um, you know, counselled the festival. Um, I just think vegans have the right to have their own festival if they want to and you shouldn't have any say in it. So the move was the last episode in an ongoing battle between vegan militants and butchers and providers of meat in the north of France. So I don't think the people who are running the vegan festival are vegan militants whatever that means. I mean if you're talking about vegan protesters or animal rights activists um, those people aren't militants as long as they're, you know, in no way harming people. They're just expressing their opinions and, you know, trying to promote their points of view. And you have every right to do, you know, promote your own points of view if you want to. Um, the people who are running the festival are people that want to make profit off vegan food. Now, you, okay, I presume in this context, the 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 person who's organising the vegan festival is vegan. But there are people who organise vegan festivals which aren't vegan, who are simply organising the vegan festival because they want to make money off the growing number of vegans in the UK. And um, again, not every single supplier at that vegan festival, not every single stall is going to necessarily be a vegan company. Some of those companies are just going to want to profit off the rising vegan market um on top of which a lot of these festivals i don't know how effective in terms of activism they are because often the festival runners if they're vegan themselves they will allow um charities to have free stalls at their festival um, but they will make the majority of their money on food stalls and this is why when you go to a vegan festival, it's mainly like cake stall, cake stall, cake stall, food stall. And then you have one or two 
um, charity scattered around. Um, I've <laughs> I've kind of helped to run a vegan festival before, so I know this. Um, but that's that's kind of what happens. Um, so it's not a lot of vegan festivals are just focused on eating nice food and having fun. They're not focused on activism necessarily. So far it's been the radical non-meaters who have been on the offensive, vandalising several butcher shops in the region elsewhere in recent months, prompting the French Federation of Butchers to issue a plea for police protection. So vegans have no right to vandalise property um, or butcher shops or anything like that. However, um, it goes both ways. Um, I have seen, you know, farmers and vandalising a phone box. Um, I actually reported an incident to the police where um, a farmer vandalised a phone box. Now, in this particular case, um, I had to call up BP, who owns the phone box, and they um, said that they were looking into the situation, which is the last I've heard from it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it goes both ways. We shouldn't really vandalise each other's property and vegans should focus on peaceful protesting as opposed to vandalising property. I don't think we really get our way by making people scared of us and, and resent us, particularly. Right, so, um, but now Carlos? mayor's office said that they've banned the on upcoming vegan event to guarantee public safety and protect organizers and visitors from the risk of an outbreak of public disorder it's given no details but said the authorities have become aware of a series of operations aimed at stirring up trouble so it just sounds like the the farmers are the ones causing trouble um if they're kind of posting nasty comments on the Facebook page and the police are so worried that, you know, they've cancelled the festival. Um, that doesn't really give me a good impression of the farmers at all. Um, I mean, why are they so offended by a vegan festival? <laughs> uh, I mean, um, if you, I mean, I'm sure that the vegan festival would let the farmers come in and, you know, eat some vegan food if they wanted to. Um, and even if they don't like the vegan festival, they don't have to, you know, be part of it. Um, and if they wanted to, let's say, protest outside, I don't really see anything wrong with that either. Um, apart from the fact that I don't think it's going to be particularly effective because the people going into the vegan festival are likely to be vegan anyway. And they're likely to just... Get annoyed by what you're doing it's like Farage with his eating meat outside a vegan festival thing <laughs> but yeah fair place the association that organized the event was more specific about the threats that were come where the threats were coming from they claimed that in the event's facebook page that the town hall officials had told that hunters and farmers had come together to make very clear th threats about what would happen if the event was held. The head of the Butchers' Federation in the region um, said that the, if the festival had gone ahead, they were going to organise a big barbecue, along with farmers, hunters and restaurateurs. He said that 400 people would turn out for the meat-eating event, but he insisted it would remain peaceful. We wanted to show that we weren't the violent ones, that there are extremists among the vegans, he told the newspaper. So, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's too bad him having um, a, an event, a barbecue at all. Um, I think he's got every right to have a barbecue. Um, however, I don't think that his barbecue is going to be as popular as the vegan festival. Um, the main reason for this is that often with families, you have one vegan in the family and then you have the rest that are meat eaters. Now, if you had, for example, a vegan festival, 
that appeals to everyone because everyone can get something to eat and everyone can choose from the whole menu. Um, also, vegan festivals tend to be quite inoffensive. Um, you can encourage your family to go and they're, they're not going to be bombarded with information about animal rights. There's a few animal rights stalls, but it's mainly focused on eating nice vegan food. Um, whereas the meat festival, if you had a barbecue, if you have one vegan in your family, you, the family's unlikely to go because you have the vegan who won't have, be able to have anything to eat. Um, so I just think that the vegan festival is a lot more inclusive. So I think that would be more popular than the barbecue. So the event organisers are currently looking for another venue to rent outside Carlos um, to host the event. With just 3% of the population vegetarian or vegan in France, the notion of dropping meat from the menu has been slow to catch on, even frowned upon in the country proud of its foie Now, I don't think this is quite true. Um, the amount of vegans in the UK and in France and in, in Europe and America and even Australia and, and those kind of places in the Western world. Um, they've been increasing and increasing and increasing over the last 10 years. Um, there are more and more and more vegans than there ever was before. Um, so I don't know, even though it's a small percentage, I think that year by year, day by day, it's increasing and getting bigger and bigger. So the French bookstores have been subject to scrutiny in the recent months. Um, following a state of hard-hitting reports about abattoirs and battery farms revealing the inhumane conditions that animals are being kept and killed. So I, I kind of agree to some extent about that, but I think that it kind of focuses on animal welfare as opposed to animal rights. Um, vegans aren't just concerned about battery farms, they're concerned about how animals are treated on organic and free-range farms. Um, they're concerned about, you know, male chicks being killed at birth on free-range egg farms and organic egg farms. They're concerned about the way in which um, cow, uh, sorry, sheep are um, castrated and have their tails chopped off um, with by elastic band. Um, they're concerned about all of these mutilations um, and that should really be the focus as opposed to fat battery farms. Um, I think talking about battery farms it just doesn't, to me, it just doesn't give people a clear idea of what veganism is. Um, so yeah, anyway thanks for watching guys and please subscribe and like this video. Bye guys!